So hello everybody. Hopefully you're all having a good day so far. Uh, I finally decided to drop my review of the Low Santos Tuners update. And I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a car person, but I'm really enjoying this update. Like, I really am. It's really good. There's a bunch of cars I like. A couple of quality of life changes I like. And there was some stuff that I actually liked, but sadly got removed like literally like two days after the update dropped. So... Yeah, but let's just talk over him. So, first of all, let's talk about the main place. The property, the Ellis Meet. No, it's actually two properties. Let's talk about the social hub, like the casino, the Ellis Meet first. So, the Ellis Meet is really, really good. I love the place. So, as you can basically have a test track down there. And the membership is 50k. So, it's not that much. You can literally just do two headhunters and just get 50k just like that and there you go you have a membership now it's basically a hub a car meet hub and I love it it's amazing I mean you can have two things uh, that is basically reach rank 20 and you have basically your, basically your own car meet interior which is great for the car meet people or you could just enter the normal one where it's a bunch of NPC cars and a bunch of players are going to be there or you could just have the whole place to yourself with all the NPCs you know you take it or leave it but yeah, uh, I already have the option where you can unlock like the whole car meet for yourself. So yeah, you unlock that at rank 20. So it's all right. I mean, most of the times I hang out with two to three people, so it really doesn't matter. But to all those people that like to host the car, the car meet streams or whatever bullshit that you guys do, uh, there you go. Have that. Uh, it's great. But I personally don't care. I'll just hang out in the normal area. I mean, usually I'm in the chat or in my pyre or whatever, so it's it's good to hang out for like five minutes, but then you get bored. But yeah, excuse me. Now, you do have your own mini Los Santos Customs in there, so that's great. And you can also show off your car. You can go to the test track to test out your personal vehicle. It could be any vehicle, except weaponized vehicle. Like, for some reason, I tried to put my Ruiner 2000 in there, and it didn't work. But you can take your Toreador, your Stromberg, and your Deluxo, but I don't know, it, it doesn't make sense, but apparently your kit is not allowed in there, so yeah, it sucks. But yeah, other than that, like, it's a good hub, I like it, I mean, I see myself maybe spending like, maybe like a week more in there, but after that I'm just not gonna care. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, hub. Now, there is one thing I forgot to mention about this, which is the wheels, the low grip tires. You can get them only exclusive at the LS Meet, the hub itself. So, yeah, they're basically drifting tires, and I only got them for my Fudo because it just seems like it was the right thing to do. But me, personally, I just don't care too much. So, yeah, at least they're extremely cheap. They literally, like I said, they're drifting wheels, so they destroy any type of traction. And, I mean... Yeah, it's alright. I like having fun with them, so they're cool. Only exclusive at the LS Meet, again. But yeah, I mean, honestly, it's just, just not my thing. So let's get straight to the cars. Now, the cars, honestly, I love them. I love all of them. Like, the Jester RR seems to be my favorite. And it's just, the handling is just so smooth. It's a, it's a good-looking car. It's a, it feels a good-feeling car as well when you drive it on the road. It's just amazing, good-looker. It feels great. It's just... What's not to like? Now, there's also a couple cars I like. The RX-7, which I do love. That's the CR350. And the sad thing is that it, it kind of sucks in terms of performance. It's really not that good. Then you have the RT-3000, which is the S2000 Honda. It's all right. I like it. But uh, customization-wise, there's only like so many ways you can make it. And then it, like... It's kind of ugly. Like, there was a way I was trying to make it, but it just didn't work out, so I just left it with black, and that's it. But, yeah, the deliveries are pretty ugly. Uh, then you have the Calico, which is fucking insane. The acceleration on that thing is broken. But, yeah, like, and the Calico is literally just a, mo it's a must for the Street Race series. It destroys any other car in the Street Race, because the Jester just doesn't have... Like, it has better top speed than the Calico, but... There isn't enough straights for the Jester to take advantage of that, so it's mostly corners, as you can see here. Like, the Calico literally is the car for uh, for basically any street race series, so if you guys want to dominate in the street race series, just get the Calico, honestly. I mean, that's what most people are doing anyway, so... Yeah, I got the Calico. It's a really good looking... It's a really good car. Now, it has kind of shit traction. 
and not good brakes, but if you master that, like, learn how to control it, like, it's the best car in the series. Now, yeah, uh, let's see, we also have the Eros. It's okay, I love the look. I just, I don't like its performance, honestly, so... It's a good looking car though, I like it. In terms of, I give it a 5 out of 10. Like the looks, hate the performance. Then there's the, what's the other car? The Tailgater S, eh, really don't care that much about that one. Cause, it's just a Dan, whatever. Then you have the Dominator GTT, it's a good looking car. It's, it's performance is okay, it's just, it's not my favorite car. It's a good looking car, but it's just, it's, it's there. Then you have the, Fudo GTX is alright, it's just a more better version of the original Fudo, whatever. Uh, then you have the Remus, I got it off the Price Ride Challenge because I wasn't too, I didn't care too much about it to buy it, so I just straight up won it off the uh, Price Ride Challenge. And it's okay, I mean, it's it's just there, I mean, I don't care, it's, it's a boring car, honestly, I just didn't like it. It's sitting in my garage and that's it. I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna sell it because it's, you know, I got it for free, so might as well keep it. But, eh, whatever. Then there's the 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 HKR, I think the Warranter. I, I forgot the name, but that car. Didn't buy it. Didn't care. As I, from what I've seen, it sucks. I don't care. Don't like the look, so I'm gonna avoid it. But most of the cars are really good. Like I cannot wait for the early 2000s Mustang. I cannot wait for the uh, Sultan RS Classic. I cannot wait for the two Porsches, the, both the Professor cars. And yeah, there's like three to four cars I cannot wait for the drift feed. I cannot wait for the BMW. I, I want to see that car, but mostly the one I want to see the most is the early 2000s Mustang. Now, yeah, that's pretty much it for the cars. Now let's go to the other property, which is the auto shop. Now, apparently, from what I've seen, it's okay. There's three ways of making money. There's a the mini heist. I personally don't care too much about them. I call them the client jobs mark two because it's basically what it is. It's just mark uh, the client jobs but with a tiny bit more work into it. Uh, there's the exotic blackboard list, which is that they give you 10 cars a day and then you can reclaim them and take them to the docks for 20k. It's always 20k no matter what car it is. And yeah, it's okay. I cannot wait for that to be double money because it'll add up like free cards and double money and you'll get 120k. So that is good. Then you have the business where the NPCs deliver the car to your garage and you have to modify them and sell them. Now there's two ways you can do this. There's the deliver vehicle option and then you have the same option but the staff does it for you. It takes 10 minutes and they give you a, a, a cut. But honestly, the from what I've seen from other people and from my results as well, the car always comes damaged. So yeah, you're never gonna get a full satisfaction report out of the NPCs that deliver the cars for you. But what you could just do is just customize the car and let the NPCs deliver to you all the time and you get passive income money. So yeah, it's all right. But honestly, like if it's a good car, I would say just deliver them yourself. And yeah, that's pretty much it now. Honestly, I could see myself playing a little bit with these options, but eh, I, I might just go back to the Jazz and Da fighting now. Now we get to the cons, which is the, the basically the lack of vehicle variety we got, like all of them are cars. Now obviously, this is a car update, so can't say much there. I wish it would have added at least one vehicle, you, see, you know, like 16 cars and maybe one other vehicle, maybe like an attack boat, a jet or something, just one thing, but sadly we didn't get that, but hey, at least the cars that are coming are good, so eh, I'm, I, I would say I'm kind of pissed, but at the same time I'm not because the cars that are coming to the game are actually very good and I'm excited for them, so I'm not that pissed at all, I'm actually kind of happy that the cars that they added are the ones that I actually wanted, so thank fuck, and yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it for the business now. We didn't get anything PvP related wise, like a new assault rifle, maybe a new shotgun, maybe a new sniper, or even a new ammo tie, like we didn't get any of that, or even a new PvP vehicle, like all of these cars are just cars, and basically if you're into PvP in this game, you got nothing. I guess some changes, but really, they aren't really that huge, so meh. 
And yeah, like honestly, this was a pretty chill update. I, I still love the update though. This was a very good update. But PvP wise, you, you guys get nothing. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed my review and that's pretty much it. Uh, overall, I enjoyed the update. I love the update. Now, I, I wish it was at least one thing PvP related, but sadly there isn't. Oh uh, well. But, yeah, I enjoyed the pursuit races, I enjoyed the street races, I enjoyed the hub, I enjoyed the cars. Overall, this update gets a 7 out of 10 for me. Uh, maybe I will love one PvP thing later on, but yeah, that's it for me. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later uh, with the uh, next video, or live stream. Bye-bye.